Davidson from Rock's Performance. We're here with customer John Stewart's ZX14R. He's affectionately named the bike the Louisville Slugger. Uh, I've been going through it, uh, just breaking it in on the dyno, doing uh, some heat cycles and following some instructions that we have in our forum on how to break the bike in on the dyno. It right now has right at 68 miles on it. It's got the break-in oil in it. It's completely stocked with the exception of we did install a Dynojet PC5 Power Commander from a 2011 ZX10R only because the, uh, the PC5s for this particular bike aren't available yet. Uh, it has no effect on the bike. We've got a zero map in there, uh, but we are planning on doing some tuning with it here very shortly uh, to, to match the exhaust that we're going to put on. Well, all we're trying to do is get a baseline. Uh, we're just going to see how quickly we can make power with the new ZX14R by changing the oil, going with some products that we know work very well. We wanted to get a baseline, see what we're going to start with, and, and just throw parts at it uh, just like you would in your own garage and see what we can come up with. Uh, we'll show you the dyno charts here, uh, what we started with, and see how quickly we can get this done. Okay, our conditions here today on the dyno are fantastic. We've got a SAE correction factor of 1.01. It's been hovering around 1.00. The humidity's low, 34, 35%. It's about as good as we get here um, at, on our dyno. Uh, max values, 197 horsepower in fifth gear. 195 horsepower in fourth. That's not uncommon. You usually get a little bit, bit less tire spin when you make your pulls in fifth gear versus fourth. Um, you can see a nice little gap here, 10,000 RPM uh, between the two runs. Uh, the bike is is completely stock. Um, you know, the ZX14R just never ceases to amaze me. That's fantastic power. Um, we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead. You know, I, I've already broken it in uh, using the, the techniques that uh, that I describe in our forums. If you go to broxperformance.com, look at our forums. We've got a I've got suggested break in. Even though the bike only has 68 uh, miles on the engine, it's ready for synthetic oil. We're gonna go ahead and put in some of our Allison less than zero weight uh, fully synthetic motor oil and our Petron additive and see what kind of gains we've got. We really don't have any kind of uh, any idea what the assembly company used when they put uh, you know when they put this bike together it could be fantastic motor oil that's in it right now it could be horrible uh, it's really just sort of a it's really sort of a gamble so we're gonna go ahead make that swap real quick and we'll be back with the results in a minute Okay, so what we did is we took the break-in oil out, replaced it with our Allison less than zero weight oil and Petron additive, did the same thing. Um, we've got four runs in a row, run 34, 35, 36, and 37. The even numbered runs were in fourth gear, the odd number runs were in fifth. Um, 195 horsepower to 200 on the SAE scale. 197 to 201 on the SAE scale, fourth versus fifth. So just to break it down for you here, we'll go ahead and remove the odd numbered runs and bring it back up in fourth gear. That's a straight up five horsepower gain in fourth gear, no matter how you no matter how you look at it. Um, pull them up here and pull them up here for the fifth gear runs. Same deal. 197 to 201, fifth gear. Um, anywhere, any way you size it, that is a uh, that's a solid five horsepower gain. Uh, basically, starting you know starting up top, uh, 85, 83, 8500 RPM, all the way through the middle. Uh, that that's just really impressive. Uh, peak horsepower. 201.25 on the SAE scale, 120 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, once again, this is a stock bike, stock exhaust, no tuning, stock ECU, 
all we did was change the oil. The ZX14 is really impressing right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put on our Alien Head 2 exhaust, make no other changes. Uh, we can look at the mapping here, uh, stock, for, uh, stock mapping we've got 13.01, uh, 13.16. Uh, we're going to see what happens to the mapping when, uh, when we throw on the stock or on our uh, our modified exhaust versus stock, and see what kind of changes we can get. Just throwing it on. We'll be back in a minute.